Sports fans, Ed here, and right, let's start fueling up. And I'm going to show you two techniques as I explained in the prior video. First technique is using Market Samurai. The second technique is using Twitter. In fact, I'm going to show you a super cool way uh, to use Twitter and also not mess up your main Twitter account. So let's get cracking because I want you to do this today. So less of me talking, more of you doing. So, oh, look at this. What have we got here? Market Samurai. And you can see here we've got our good old vintage electric guitar project. Um, just to show, you can see here SEO competition. And then you can see our blog. Hooray, hurrah, hurrah. Uh, and so there we have it. So this is what you know. most people are used to, you know, this whole area and they're used to seeing this SEO matrix. Now I want to show you another section of Market Samurai, which is of course the, funnily enough, called Find Content section. So if we click on that, how super cool is this? Basically we can go and we can look at, uh, I'm going to pick Wikipedia, I'm going to do a Google blog search and I might pick uh, some, let's have a look at some YouTube videos and maybe some Google News. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit find content. And look at this. All of a sudden, it's found a whole bunch of articles, videos, and Wikipedia articles, like the vintage guitar Wikipedia article. And if I click on that, Check it out, loads it up right inside Market Samurai, and I can read all the different areas. And if I'm looking around here, I'm going to go, wow, vintage electric guitars are um, you know, uh, an investment. So I'm going to write that down. That sounds like a good headline, doesn't it? So I'm going to put in, you know, I'm, I'm using a little application here on my Mac called Notational Velocity, and I'm going to write in here as an idea vintage electric guitars as an investment all right i didn't spell it right but there you go what else are we doing? so i'm going i can read through here you know background so we've got a whole bunch of really really cool things there's quite a but there's quite a bunch of interesting things we can do with this content, but I'm, going to, I'm just going to show you the basics. We could also, uh, if you really wanted to uh, copy that text out as a note or a particular section, you know, you could hit and copy the text to the clipboard and then I could add that to my note as a bit of a reference mark. So you, you can get the, actually that whole content there into the thing. Now we don't want to copy this stuff because that we just don't want to do it, but we can use it for reference. Now I don't want that whole article there for the moment. I just want little headlines. Vintage electric guitars and investment seems like a great idea. Okay, so let's keep going. Here's a couple, oh, this is an interesting one. Tips for buying vintage electric guitar overview. Now the thing I like here is this is a video, which of course you can play right inside Market Samurai. When it comes to vintage electric guitars, there are some buying tips that people should take note of in order to avoid any negative experiences as well as shady sellers. Whether you already know what kind of guitar you Now I could listen to that and get some points out of the whole, uh, that whole video. Veterans might notice some interesting things about that, that uh, particular one. Oh, here we are. This is, uh, you know, Eric Clapton's uh, Blackie guitar so I can have a look at that click and have a look um, the other th I could of course get the actual you know the content there. which is sweet I can not play too much of their platform so basically what we can do here so we can go through and have a look at all these items and just start taking a few little notes, read through. You know, vintage guitar. 
you can see there's the different that's you know vintage guitars that on the Wikipedia uh, and we could continue to have a look through and look at all these different you know intro and buying guide to vintage electric guitar we could go and have a look at that and I say you know you can just start you know reading through and just we're looking for wow facts okay ah uh, now this is something that I'm interested in you know here vintage electric guitar or vintage acoustic, not true antique guitar. As a true antique, it must be over 100 years old. True vintage must be made between the 20s and 70s. So that's useful info. So I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to paste. Just as a, just take little notes. And I'm just going to continue having a look through. And we'll continue to do so. So that is Market Samurai. So you can use that. And at the moment, all we're trying to do is fill our little notepad just with little ideas and stuff that we're going to do. The next spot I'm going to look at is Twitter. So if we go back into Twitter, what I want to do is I want to go into this search section here and I want to put in my key phrase. And spell correctly if you can. There we are. And just hit this little link here. And what you'll do is you'll see there's a whole bunch of links. Now you have to look and go through and look and see if there's anything that's uh, that's interesting. You can see there's a whole lot of you know different sort of selling things there. But we can also, what we want to do is look for not only the real-time results, and there might be some interesting notes in there, not really for this particular article, but then also I click on search for users. And this is really interesting because look at this. Wow, it's picked up Gibson Guitar, which is one of the big, you know, the big players in the market, and Guitar World and Guitar Players Now. Now here's the cool little trick that I wanted to show you. If you see like Gibson guitar, that's obviously somebody that's going to have some interesting guitar information. Rather than clogging up, you know, I don't want to follow Gibson guitar because that'll clog up my main Twitter stream and I want to keep that nice and clear so I just get the information I absolutely want. But Twitter has something called lists. So I can click on that and you can see I've got a guitar, guitar gear news list, but I can click on here new list and literally type vintage electric guitar and this is my Twitter list interestingly that's its address so anybody could type that into Twitter and get that and then I can fill it in as a description and I want to keep it public and there's a very good reason to do that later on and we hit create list so look at that, yay, your list was created. And the awesome thing is not only was it created, look at that, it's already added to my list and I could ch uncheck it out of that list. And off we go. And I can continue to go down and have a look. Oh, Guitar Edge magazine, it's a cool magazine. So I'm going to add that into my vintage electric guitar list too. And it's as easy as clicking. Look at this. And you can go through and just have a sort through. And then what you're building over time is a resource as people tweet, rather than, as I say, quote, clogging up your um, particular Twitter stream, this keeps it in a separate, uh, a separate list. So go through there. And we'll just pick one more here. Yeah, we'll pick Gibson Events. And we'll add that to our Vintage Electric Guitar list. There we have it. Now, if we go back home, it's my Twitter account. Look at this. There's a new list here called Vintage Electric Guitar. And if I click on that list, here it is. And it contains all the URLs. And this could give me some really, really good content, which is super duper sweet interestingly and I'll just give it a super quick plug here this is definitely more advanced uh, but if you have an iPad 
you could take this list and put it into an incredible new application called Flipboard. This is an absolutely sensational application, and if you've got it, um, you can add your Twitter list to it, and it creates like a dynamic live magazine of your Twitter list, which is awesome for filling, fuel filling. What you want to do when you fuel fill is you just want to flick through and look at different ideas. So basically, we want to see our wow ideas, and we want to take some notes, because we're going to use these notes tomorrow to create some content for our blog. And the good news is, and the awesome news is, is as long as you fuel up, and this is a very important last step. Make sure once you've fueled up, use a, use your whole half hour to you know fuel up and just read up about your niche. Studying like an exam. I shouldn't have said an exam. That'll make you feel all depressed. But if you study, and this is fun, like you're learning about this topic, and then you sleep on it overnight when we come back and we have our lesson tomorrow, I am going to stun you with what you're capable of doing. So come back tomorrow, take your notes, use your pen and paper or a little notepad, whatever tickles your fancy, and come back tomorrow and I'm going to show you how to use those notes to create some content and do it easier and faster and better than you ever thought possible for yourself. All right, we'll speak soon.